There are lots of face recognition models. DeepFace currently supports VGG Face, Google FaceNet, OpenFace and Facebook DeepFace models. Besides, those face recognition models are responsible for representing face images as vectors. We then need to find the distances between vectors. We can do it with cosine similarity, Euclidean distance or its L2 form. One might wonder and ask which face recognition model and distance metric pair is the best. The answer is no one. There is no general model metric pair knocking over its benchmarks. One model can classify some subgroup of people better, whereas another one can verify different group of people better. Herein, DeepFace offers an ensemble method to build a grandmaster model. Notice that we have four different face recognition models and three different distance metrics. In other words, there are 12 combinations for model metric pair. Ensemble method basically finds the distances with those 12 alternatives. Then it will feed those 12 distance values as features to a gradient boosting model in the background. This comes with a huge improvement on face recognition task. However, running time will increase dramatically as well. I have installed DeepFace framework and then import it. We can enable ensemble method in verification function. Verification function can be found under the DeepFace interface dot verify. It expects an image pair. Here we are going to pass the path of the images we are going to compare. These are going to be dataset slash image one dot jpeg and dataset slash image two dot jpeg. Here we are going to also pass model name parameter and we will set it to ensemble. Verify function will return a JSON object. That's why I'm going to set the return of the verify function in the object variable. We can see the content of the response object as seen it applied those face recognition models and those distance metrics in the background and in the response it says that those two image pairs are verified and also it returns an additional score value in ensemble method the score is in range 0 and 1 and this is 0 0.99, this very large value for a verification step. We can also enable ensemble method in find function in deep face interface. If you press shift and tap buttons, this mentions the expected inputs of the find function. It expects image path and database path mandatory. Database path is going to be my database in the same folder and image path is the target image we are going to look for. It's going to be dataset slash target dash one dot jpeg. Find function expects a model name optionally and its default value is VGG face but in this case we would like to set it to ensemble as well and find function will return a pandas data frame find function is over and let's see the data frame i'm going to call data frame dot head and it says that these are the most probable ones we are looked for let's remember the target dash one dot jpeg we look for this image in the my db folder and it says that this is the most probable one. Shefik and Shefik dash 10.jpg. This. Those two pairs are same based on the ensemble method. So, should you use ensemble model? It depends based on your case. The accuracy is more important for your case 
and you can ignore the running time of the model this could be fit a batch and async projects then you should enable ensemble model on the other hand if you are going to run your model in real time then running time is as important as accuracy then you should not enable ensemble model in this case